Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall learn the concept of probability, which is one of the important and easy chapter in mathematics. So this is given in the syllabus of 2022 GPSTR exams. So before moving to the video, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon. Hence, you will get the notifications of all the video we upload here in our channel related to GPSTR exam, TET and competitive exams also. So let's move into the topic now. Let's learn probability. The theory or the probability statement, it's on measurement of uncertainty. It says about measurement of uncertainty is the theory of probability. So when we say about probability, it's a chance of happening of an event. So you can you conduct an event. So what are the chances? How many chances the event could happen in that? It is expressed in the formula P of E is equal to the event happened divided by total number of trials. Before moving to the solutions or the sums, let us check out with the few important terms related to probability experiment so experiment is nothing but the well defined outcome i give an example so that you understand it in a better way um, for example you just toss a coin and the outcome will be either you will get head or tail that will be the outcome so it is well defined so that is called as experiment moving on to random experiment it's known as all outcome known in advance again I take the same example here you see when you toss a coin we know that either you will get head or you will get tail as an outcome so this is well known already you knew about that so that is called as random experiment sample space is set of all possible outcomes is called as sample space so if you have two coins and if you are tossing this simultaneously what are the possible outcomes okay either you may get both head or you may get both tail or you may get one head and one tail or you may get one tail and one head these are the sample space or set of all possible outcomes then equally likely outcomes means there are equal chances in case of a tossing coin you have either head or tail so here you will get head ones as an outcome or tail as an outcome so you know that is equally or likely outcome the term event means an outcome of a random experiment okay it's called as event and there are two types of probability one is empirical or experimental probability the other one is classical or theoretical probability all this probability we learn in the text form is an example of theoretical or classical probability suppose if you are performing that action experimentally you are having a coin and you need to find out the probability in that case of you get a head at once so if you are tossing the coin twice and you are, you are getting how many times you got the head in those two chances then you can say that it is experimentally performed and it is empirical probability okay clear now we shall move to the sums actually these kind of sums will be asked for multiple choice questions in this model question paper of 2020 GPSTR exam also there was a question based on this probability it was simple question and easy if it is asked for multiple choice you don't need to substitute for the formula and you uh, calculate it and write you can directly answer the question hence you can save time if you find a question like this find the probability of getting a head when a coin is tossed once so you're tossing a coin only once so what is the probability of getting head so you may get out of two either head or tail you will get out of that one head one how many times you will get only one times so one by two is the answer 
second one in a single throw of die so die is a singular form of dies you know die is, is like a cubical form like this it will have six sides and there are dots on that for one side there will be one dot next side two next it will be of three then four then five then six it's like this die you all are aware of that so die is a singular form of dies in a single throw of a die find the probability of getting a number less than or equal to two so in a dies in a die you have six probability six sides so out of six how many what is to be calculated you have to calculate the probability of getting number less than or equal to two so one twice which is less than or equal to 2 is 2. So 2 divided by 6 on simplifying will get as 2 1s are 2 3s are so 1 by 3 is the answer. A die is rolled find the probability of getting the number 4. So when you roll the die how many times you will get the number 4 out of 6 times you will get the number only once right. So this is the answer 1 by 6 two coins are tossed together what is the probability of getting no tail okay here the condition is two coins are tossed together so what are the probability sample space you will get either for two coins you will get both head or one head and one tail or one tail and one head or you will get both tail so these are the four this is a sample space so out of that they have asked probability of getting no tail if there is no tail so cancel off this t and t you will you will have to get here there is t cancel here also you get tail here also you get one t so cancel where you find without any tail so you find only one so one by four is the answer out of this four sets once you will get one by four is the answer same question if it is asked like this if two coins are tossed together what is the probability of getting exactly one head if you have to get exactly one head only one head should be there you see here one here both are both are heads no you cannot take this so exactly one head this and exactly one head here so two out of four you have to write two again on simplifying this two by four you get as one by two easy next in a single throw of die find the probability of getting a number less than seven so as soon as you find this die there should be six in your mind so out of six you have to get number less than seven so less than seven what are the numbers one two three four five six so out of six is six six by six is equal to one so one is the answer a number is selected at random from one to fifty what is the probability of getting a prime number so the prime numbers from 1 to 50 are these numbers what are prime numbers prime numbers are those numbers counting numbers which are greater than 1 and it is divisible by now only by 1 and number itself already we have made a, made a video related to this prime numbers please check the description box you will get more info about the prime numbers and we have will write down here prime numbers from 1 to 50 are 2 3 5 7 11 it goes on like this so there are how many numbers we have let us check it out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 numbers are there so from 1 to 50 so what is the sample space here we have 50 here out of 50 only 15 numbers are prime numbers so this is the answer 15 by 50 next a and b are friends what is the probability that both will have the same birthday and second point different birthdays so the sample space is in a year how many days are there in a regular year we have 365 days in a regular year if they mention about leap year you add one 366 days you can write otherwise you can mention as 365 only so there are two persons a and b 
what is the probability both will have the same birthday means on the same day on one one particular day out of 365 day they will have same birthday so probability is 1 by 365 second one on different birthdays so out of 365 days one fellow will have one birthday and the same day second person b cannot have so this minus 1 so 364 days remaining 360 out of 364 days the second person b can get his birthday on any other day any one day okay any one day could be his or her birthday cleared so these kind of questions will be asked for multiple choice questions only there are two types of events mainly complementary events and mutually exclusive events we we'll shall see about complementary events now if p of e is the happening of the event and p e bar is not happening of the event so two statements are contradictory here one is happening the other one is not happening therefore this can be represented in a formula p of e plus p of e bar is equal to 1 and e and e bar are complementary events okay let's solve a sum so that you will understand this in a better way the probability that it will rain on a particular day is 0.64 what is the probability that it will not rain on that day you see it will rain and some value they have given and we have to find out which will not rain so in case of a descriptive type we need to write all these considerations let a be the event of raining and then a bar is the probability of not raining we know that p of a if we consider is given as 0.64 therefore according to the formula since we have taken this even as a and a bar we can write p of a plus p of a bar is equal to 1 if you taken that as e and e bar you can write no problem this is how you consider and hence you substitute this value of p of a before that what we need to find out is p of a bar the probability of not raining p of a bar is equal to 1 minus p of a And substitute the value of p of e. That is zero point six four. One minus zero point six four is zero point three six. The probability of not raining is zero point three six. Clear? Suppose if it is asked um, of any form, of a multiple choice question, you no need to write all this explanation for this. You can directly uh, check for the statement. one positive and negative like contradictory statements which will rain and which will not rain it is there it is not there um good ones which is not good ones like that you just check for that number and easy method is one minus subtract that number or whichever is given and subtracting you will get the um, unknown one which has to be find out in the sum okay and moving to mutually exclusive events this event mutually exclusive event is defined as or the statement is like this if the occurrence of one event prevents the occurrence of the other event then this type of events are called as mutually exclusive event or if the occurrence of the one event excludes the occurrence of the other event then this is called as mutually exclusive event we can represent this in an equation p of e1 union e2 which is equal to p of e1 plus p of e2 this is the formula we represent mutually exclusive event so this is also called as addition rule of probability so in the syllabus they have mentioned about the addition rule of probability okay so if at all they ask 
this type of questions based on addition rule it will be for descriptive type questions okay let's check out with one sum based on that two coins are tossed simultaneously find the probability that either both heads or both tails occur so whenever you see this um, either this word keyword you can find out either this or that like that either both heads or both tails like this it is understood that it is something related to mutually exclusive event and we know that when two coins are tossed here they have given the condition two coins are tossed so we know already when two coins are tossed the samples occurring is either both will be head or one one tail and one head another one will be head and tail or both tail there will be four samples n of s will be four let a be the event of getting two heads n of a is equal to one so here they have asked about either both heads means both two heads together that will be out of four events how many times it, you will get both head once okay so it is represented in this formula like this p of a is equal to n a by n s so 1 by 4 this is the answer for a event getting two heads let b be the events of getting two tail here also they have asked about both tail occur so two tail occur that is out of four ones p b is equal to n b by n s which is equal to 1 by 4 therefore the events are mutually exclusive in this case we represent by the formula here the considerations we have made as a and b so we write p of a union b if you have taken as e1 e2 accordingly you can go p of a union b is equal to p of a plus p of b substitute for the p a and p b values 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 if the denominators are same you can write the denominator and add up the numerator 1 plus 1 is 2 2 by 4 2 ones are 2 twos are 4 therefore p of a union b is equal to 1 by 2 okay clear i hope we have covered the most of the important concepts here in this so this probability um, concept is a easy concepts i feel you can find this in 10th standard um, textbook material also work out for more sums if you get time and if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up so that we'll come to know that at least you benefit from this video okay so in the following classes we'll try to complete um, physics and mathematics syllabus related to GPSTR exam along with chemistry and biology concepts also okay so thank you for your support, thank you for watching.